adding and subtracting from God's word equals death. Pretty simple equation. Mostly spiritual death is, is what I'm referring to, but sometimes physical death. In Deuteronomy uh, chapter 4, verse 3, right after God says, don't add or take away from my word, from my commandments, from my laws, he says, your eyes have seen what the Lord did with Baal Peor. For every man that followed Baal Peor, the Lord your God destroyed him from your midst. But you who cling to the Lord your God are still alive today. So, having those set of verses right after God saying, don't add or don't take away, perhaps the, um, the followers of Baal Peor tried to convince the children of Israel to worship Baal Peor. Uh, and, and the children of Israel said, well, you know, God said to have no other gods before me. And they said, oh, worshiping Baal Peor, you're not going to have any other gods before him. You're worshiping mainly and mostly and supremely your God, the God of Israel. It's just that Baal Peor is a lesser God, which deserves respect and re deserves worship. But you're not going to put Baal, uh, Baal Peor before your God. He's going to be secondary, so it's okay. That's what that verse means, to have no other gods before me. So it's okay. Come on and worship. <laughs> See how easy it is to make excuses and to twist and to pervert and to tweak the word of God? I mean, hey, Satan did it from the beginning in the garden when God said, um, if you eat of this fruit, you will surely die. And Satan said through the serpent, Who's, who says you're going to die? You will not surely die. <laughs> so be very careful of ministries and ministers and teachers um, and religious leaders uh, who, who teach the word of God. And yet they clearly try to twist it and to pervert it, to make it mean what they want it to mean to make it fit their worldview, to make it fit their interpretation. I can't tell you how many times in my lifetime that I've read the Word of God and I had to put on the brakes and say, whoa, I've believed uh, wrong about that all my life. Boy, I'm going to have to tweak and change my beliefs now. You know, instead I could have said, well, that's not what my Bible teacher said. That's not what my pastor said or my Sunday school teacher said. Well, I'm going to believe what he said that this is the Word of God means. When I'm reading the plain text and it doesn't say that, or I'm doing research into the original language, and I'm like, oh, it doesn't mean that after all. No, you got to be man enough to admit, hey, I was wrong, and I'm going to change my beliefs on this. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten in trouble with other denominations or other believers because I wouldn't go along with their particular denominational or personal pet doctrine and view the scriptures as they did because I knew better, because I studied that passage or the Word of God for myself in the original languages, and and I, I, I can't see it their way. I can't interpret it their way. I looked into the historical context as well, and that's not what it means. So, you know, whenever you try to add or take away or tweak the Word of God to, to fit your own uh, personal worldviews, it, it's just going to end in death, whether spiritual or in the case of Baal Peor, uh, physical. Uh, so this is just a great warning to, to – Take the word of God as it is, that it is perfect, that we don't need to add to it or take away from it or tweak it or become hoity-toity intellectual. We just got to, you know, just read it for what it says, understand the linguistic and historical context, and make um, applicable applications to our modern day life. Hey guys, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. God bless. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. And don't forget to check out and subscribe to our social media accounts on Instagram at AD underscore international, on Facebook at Abraham's Descendants International, on Twitter at ADINT Ministries, and on Blogger at Ray Bash's Ramblings. And don't forget to check out and bookmark our website, abrahamsdescendants.com. Shalom. Abrahamsdescendants.com, getting back to the first century in a 21st century way.